today we're going to be talking about um, the HP Service Anywhere cloud-based solution, uh, specifically how to integrate the HP Operations Orchestration um, product, which is a runbook automation product, uh, with Service Anywhere. The goal there is to be able to automate um, various tasks uh, throughout your IT organization in order to streamline process as well as to build out efficiencies. So as far as the agenda today, we'll talk a little bit about uh, a little bit of background around Service Anywhere as well as its integration capabilities. Uh, then I'll show you kind of the end-to-end -end integration uh, components as well as um, setups for uh, integrating operations orchestration with Service Anywhere. And then we'll also walk through uh, a typical use case for uh, domain password reset. Uh, so you can kind of see how easy it is to, to get that set up as well as get that working within your environment. Uh, once we're done there, we'll, we'll briefly talk about a couple of different offerings that Result Positive has within Service Anywhere uh, as far as from implementation perspective. So uh, before we jump into specifics around the integration itself, wanted to highlight some of the capabilities within Service Anywhere. Hopefully uh, those listening or watching have had an opportunity to at least see a bit of a background uh, demonstration or done some product research on Service Anywhere. Um, but this is actively changing uh, almost on a quarterly perspective as far as new enhancements, capabilities, and functionality uh, that's being delivered by the HP uh, uh, R&D team around Service Anywhere. So wanted to make sure that we could at least call out the basic uh, service management um, processes that are supported as well as some of the enhanced um, capabilities within Service Anywhere around the codeless configuration uh, Service Anywhere is built upon what they call the Haven platform. It is a big data um, solution set, and it leverages uh, Vertica Advanced Analytics Engine as well as the Autonomy Idle uh, Advanced Search Capability Engine uh, within Service Anywhere. Uh, the mobility capabilities, uh, Service Anywhere is built on an HTML5 platform, so therefore uh, it renders uh, from a browser-based perspective uh, just fine between a laptop, a desktop, a tablet, as well as a smartphone. Um, so wanted to make sure we, we covered those as well. So from an integration capability, uh, there's a couple of different ways by which you can integrate with Service Anywhere. Um, that does come with an on-premise bridge. Essentially, this allows for you to build a secure connection between a targeted on-premise or targeted hosted solution uh, to integrate with Service Anywhere. And in doing so, you're then able to make secure communications back and forth leveraging REST calls or leveraging other integration capabilities to exchange the information back and forth between Service Anywhere. Uh, what we've done with operations orchestration is leveraging the on-premise bridge, and you'll see how that's set up here momentarily. Uh, the REST API capabilities can be done inside the on-premise bridge, but they can also be done outside. You can make and receive REST calls uh, within Service Anywhere to do anything from uh, generate or update a record within Service Anywhere or have Service Anywhere speak to another solution to either execute a command, uh, do a ticket exchange, things of that nature. And then there's also the capabilities around Connected, which is HP's integration engine. Uh, historically, it's been utilized for large-scale batch uploads, but uh, if you think about it within the Service Anywhere space, you can utilize that to do uh, those types of mass imports, but you can also look at it for LDAP integrations, um, single sign-on integrations, also think about it within uh, email integrations where you can utilize this for from a fetching perspective to actually open up tickets within Service Anywhere from your uh, exchange environment. So what we're going to do now is hop outside of the PowerPoint. And what I'm going to do is bring up Service Anywhere. So uh, there's two pieces to Service Anywhere or two uh, views, one being a user portal. Um, this is a self-service portal. It supports HP's methods of a ticketless IT by providing a lot of information to users, hopefully allowing them to consume and make uh, appropriate decisions and solve problems on their own. Uh, however, obviously gives them the capability of opening up requests to uh, the IT where needed. Uh, there's also the back end, uh, which is where IT lives and breathes uh, within Service Anywhere. And we're going to navigate to uh, the on-premise bridge area within Service Anywhere at this moment so that uh, we can show what the setup of this looks like uh, for the operations orchestration integration. So expanding, I'm going to go under administration, and I'm going to get on-premise bridge. Uh, the way that the on-premise bridge works is you deploy agents to uh, the targeted server environment. 
and then you then you then exchange and create credentials, one for service anywhere to actually access the targeted application, but also for that application to be able to reach and write to uh, service anywhere. So what we're doing with the on-premise bridge is deploying agents, and then we're defining endpoints, uh, which allow for us to be able to configure, um, identify the IP and the information around that particular server environment, and then also the credentials that service anywhere will utilize to execute the commands uh, that are predefined with any scripts that we uh, put within service anywhere. What I'm going to do now is actually navigate uh, to the service catalog, uh, how it's defined within service anywhere, so you can kind of see um, basically the, uh, the starting point as well as the, the way by which uh, the REST calls can be defined for uh, the runbook automation capabilities in OO. So what we're going to do is navigate to the domain account and active directory group. Uh, from there, I'm going to go under domain service. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the change password for domain account. And we're just going to edit this. Within the cataloging structure of Service Anywhere, you have the capability of being able to predefine just about everything that's presented to the user. So you can provide, provide the labeling, the descriptions. You get to determine the type of offering. So it comes with service as well as support. So from a service fulfillment perspective is what we're targeting for this particular catalog offering. Um, this aligns it with the appropriate service definition as well as a status um, that it gives. Uh, you can certainly work uh, from a draft perspective while it's uh, inactive, but I have this activated so the users can actually uh, consume and utilize this particular offering on the front end. You can also predefine user options. Right now I only need two particular data points from the user in order to execute uh, the script within operations orchestration for the password reset. So we're essentially asking for the user to provide their name as well as their email account. Um, you can also expand on this. You can have some security controls put in place to where there are challenges, challenge questions that must be answered prior to from a, a security perspective for an active domain password reset. You can also set this up to where uh, this can be done on behalf of a user. So, for example, if the user can't get into um, Service Anywhere to actually request the, the password reset, they can contact a, a pre-existing delegate uh, and have them actually do that for them. So there's a lot of flexibility in exactly how you have this set up. Uh, the big piece here is within the plan and execute. This is essentially where we can build out task plans. And um, in previous demonstrations we've done, we've illustrated how you can preset uh, various approvals as well as how you can predefine uh, task plans to accomplish certain activities. This allows for you to streamline and standardize the way by which things are executed and completed uh, within your environment. This one in particular is simply has one task. Um, this is an automated task, and it is a script that will contact uh, operations orchestration and tell it to run uh, the particular script for resetting the password. So what we've done is essentially created a business rule. Uh, within the business rule, we're utilizing an, ex uh, an execute rest command uh, that is utilizing the credentialing as well as the connection that we've set up, the secure connection uh, within the on-premise bridge. Uh, in doing so, we're then having it post as well as utilize and execute a specific concatenated command um, that's part of the expression language within Service Anywhere. And in doing so, what it will do is essentially reset the password and provide that password to the targeted user uh, via email notification. So what we're going to do now, um, before I actually execute this, we're going to look at um, operations orchestration so you can kind of see this is the monitoring capability, so we're actually looking within an operations orchestration server, uh, and we're looking at the particular runs for um, this particular script. So what we're going to be able to do is monitor both ends and actually see this in action and execute and actually be able to navigate to the request that's submitted and see the outputs within some notations that are logged. So what I'm going to do now is go under the domain account and active directory group uh, header. I'm then going to select domain service, and I'm going to locate the change password for domain account. So again, the information that was entered within the catalog as far as the structure uh, makes its way and it exposes uh, to the user as far as for the inputs. So we're going to utilize myself as the guinea pig for this. So I've entered in my username as well as my email 
uh, and put in a quick blurb relative to business justification. And I'm going to go ahead and submit this. So what you see now is the uh, results screen. This gives me the ability to drive straight to the um, record that I've submitted from a user perspective, and I can actually see where within the process um, that's actually taking place. And right now we're within fulfillment. So what we can now do is go over to uh, the, the back end of Service Anywhere. And what I'm going to do is just go over to the Service Request Management header. And we can see that I've actually got uh, my ticket that's been logged. Opening this up, what we will see eventually once everything runs is we'll actually see some notations. And you can see here uh, we actually didn't have any errors, which is good. But this has already been logged by operations orchestration. So what I'm going to do now uh, is go into OO. And what I'm going to do is just see if I can refresh this. And it looks like we've already taken hold and executed. So you can see here, uh, this is what was executed momentarily or a moment ago. Uh, we can actually drive into the script itself, see that the random password was generated, it reset it, it set my user account correctly, and then it's sent to uh, my email as far as the, the password information. And uh, so what we've got now is we've got a reset password. We've got um, a record that is ready to be closed and completed. Um, and we also can validate within OO that this script ran successfully. Um, you can also see my password just came over to me. So if I select this, um, somewhat of a, of a crude mock-up in regards to the communication, this can certainly be uh, configured and from a notification perspective to whatever an organization may need to convey to the customer. But this is essentially telling me that my password's been reset. This is the temporary password that's been provided. And when I log in again, I'll be prompted to change my password immediately. So utilizing um, OO, utilizing the service catalog, being able to prescribe an on-premise bridge and build that out from a secure communication perspective, you have the capability of automating a lot of different activities or tasks um, that are usually uh, executed by personnel within IT. Um, if you've got a, a good run book automation uh, use cases and you want to define those, test those out, and standardize those, those can then be uh, executed within the service catalog or anywhere else within Service Anywhere where there is a task plan capability, whether it be within incident management, whether it be within change management, um, a lot of different ways by which you can take advantage of this particular integration um, to, kind of, again, streamline and automate as much of your processes as possible. So what I'm going to do now is hop back over into the PowerPoint deck and just quickly talk a couple of minutes about the various offerings that we have uh, for Service Anywhere. And currently, we have a couple of different offerings. Um, we have a three to four week fast track implementation plan that allows for your basic implementation of Service Anywhere, um, tailoring of the targeted processes, workflows, forms, fields. Uh, it also has some setup for um, the portal itself, doing some theming or customization to the portal to make it more organizational centric, as well as helping build out the basic uh, catalog offerings that an organization may have. We also have we included within this particular offering structure the ability to integrate with an LDAP and email solution as well. And you can see that um, within the next offering around a five to six time frame, um, we also can do additional advancements within knowledge management, assisting with advanced change management workflow uh, configurations, as well as assist assisting with uh, adding additional items from a knowledge perspective to uh, the user portal for consumption by our user base.